Can you spend a little time? Time is slipping away, away from us, so stay. Stay with me, I can make, make you glad you came. What's going on everybody, it's Kevin for the win here. Today I have a tutorial on how to make your character a first person point of view. And no, this ain't it. This is actually me sitting idle, just getting some time in so I can do my intro for this video. So what you're going to do is head down to the beach uh, where the roller coasters, the ferris wheels, whole nine yards at. And all you got to do is pull out your inventory menu. Oh, first you're going to press right and buy a ticket. Then you're going to walk down the stairs, pull out your inventory menu and hold over kill yourself you're gonna then click kill yourself and then hit Y really fast and your character should do a spin and uh, if you do it correctly most of the time you'll spawn on the beach unless somebody's around and you usually spawn up there but uh... yeah so if you do that correctly your character will do one of those little jig spins or whatever and he like I said you'll mostly spawn down here on the beach so next step is all you do is you run up the hill and go to the roller coaster once you're up at the roller coaster all you do is press right and buy a ticket for ten dollars so what this already cost you five hundred twenty dollars to do this first person point of view glitch uh, and then it pops you in the ferris wheel and this is this is how you know you did step one and two correctly and what you gotta do is you gotta watch the roller coaster go all the way around and once it does that I usually, when it gets to the end, give him a minute for your character to get off, uh, and then once you do that, you'll notice your camera is still on the Ferris wheel. That's perfectly normal because you got to press the back button, click change view, and there you are in first person. I've gotten used to it and learned how to control it, but for first timers, it is actually pretty hard to control. Uh, and some downsides are there's no map, you can't use your menu, you can't pull out your weapons. Uh, and stuff like that. Upside, it is first person and you get to see your first vehicles from the inside out driving. Uh, another thing cool I think is fighting in first person. I don't know if I hit this lady, I don't remember. I did in a few other videos but I was like I'm not even going to upload this. So, ride the four wheeler around first person. And it's weird because on the four wheeler you can change your camera to like a GoPro top head, top head setting and it will show your character's hands. but on the real first person there ain't no hands so oh another unique thing is which I didn't include in this video you can still press the back button and it'll show the ferris wheel cam and that works out great for if you want to make like a fourth person point of view uh, of you know you just driving around the beach now if you go look at my monster truck video of me driving it first person I uh, click it a few times in that video and you can see now some downsides of this glitch are, I do believe if you get so far away from the uh, Ferris wheel, then you know the glitch won't work and it'll show your character, then it'll zoom out. Or I also think that the Ferris wheel goes all the way around since it still believes your character's on it, and when it hits the bottom, it stops just like right here. So and then it kicks your character off, and then I was like, oh man. So two downsides stay by the ferris wheel and enjoy the time on it while you can and the upsides you can see first person from a new perspective with a glitch not a mod so everything modding glitching gaming it's Kevin for the win remember to like comment subscribe I'm out of here <laughs>